Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talk nothing but this boxing. What's good with your fam fam? Hey, listen, man, I got some breaking news, man. Uh, Huey Fury, um, he relinquishes his British heavyweight title. And therefore, it has been ordered that Joe Joyce face Daniel Dubois for the vacant title. Now, I got this information from the World Boxing News. Um, in the article, uh, it reads as follows. It says that Joe Joyce versus Daniel Dubois, the stewards decided to put the contest to purse bid in short terms to be submitted in accordance with the terms and conditions to the board's head office by 12 o'clock noon on Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. The contest to take place by the end of July 2019, man. Um, Frank Warren, uh, apparently he's all for this, man. Frank Warren, who has guided the boys um, to 10 and 0 as a pro, he welcomed the move. Uh, the boys uh, must first come through Richard Larde next month at Wembley Arena. Um, this is exactly what Frank Warren had to say about the matter. He says, I am de delighted that the board has ordered the Bois versus Joyce. Daniel has has a tough fight on April 27th first up, but we have asked for this fight. Daniel wants it and we will reach out to Team Joyce to try and make it happen this summer. A big heavyweight night for British boxing. Now, I think this is a very, very good matchup, man. Um, I have been watching Daniel Dubois and let me tell you, man, I have come to fall in love with his style. I think he's an exciting young heavyweight. I've watched him develop over these last couple fights, man. And um, I think he's ready for smoke with this this Joe Joyce, man. Now, Joe Joyce is a tough customer, man. He's definitely a tough, tough customer, but I think he is um, really slow. You know what I'm saying? I watched him in the fight with uh, Bermaine Stavern last fight. And I seen him. I see that he got his chin. Bermaine Stavern hit him with shots clean shots in that first round um all through the fight but specific, specifically in that first round that will that would drop of uh, many men you know what i'm saying the best of them would have dropped with some of them punches that stavern caught joe joyce with man but um joe joyce you know he, he's slow man his defense ain't ain't all that man and um i just think dubois is just a, a better all-around fighter um i think Dubois will will be too much for Joe Joyce, man. But it's a fight that I would love to see. Uh, I don't know if um, Joe Joyce's team will accept the fight, um, but, you know, they should. You know what I'm saying? I think they should, man. Dubois only got 10 fights. You know what I'm saying? Should he get past Lardy, there'll be 11 fights. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think Joe Boy Joe Joyce is, you know, somewhere around around that, that range. I believe he has... You know, somewhere around 10 fights, give or take a couple fights, man. But I know he don't have a whole lot of experience. Um, same as Dubois. It will be a great night of fights for the British. Um, I, I will be acting like a Brit that night and, uh, you know, cheering that ole, ole, ole shit and all that things that they, they do over there, man. But um, I'll be looking forward to that fight, man. And I know they want to fast track uh, Joe Joyce and, you know, um, you know, Joe Joyce has said that he's ready for these elite heavyweights, but his team, uh, specifically Angel Sanchez, which is his trainer, um, he don't feel that Joyce is ready just yet for a fight such as Lewis Ortiz, you know what I'm saying? But he may just welcome a fight with a, a novice, a contender, should I say, and Daniel Dubois, you know what I'm saying? This fight so early in both of these guys' career could could have major uh implications on the future of either guy man you know what i'm saying one one of these guys career could be ended um you know after this fight i do think this fight would result in a knockout as both guys are very large men both guys have very heavy hands um but it's a fight that i would love to see a fight that i would welcome man just to see in fact where both guys is at man um, but I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens, if anything. Um, the first bid, you know, is expected, what, April, what I say, April 27th, um, something like that. Let me make sure. No, April 10th, you know what I mean? So that's not that's not too far away. That's a couple weeks away, man. April 10th, um, we'll see what happens, man. But that's all I got, man. I appreciate you tuning in to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talk nothing but that 
boxing. And in the meantime and in between time, stay blessed and stay supporting this thing that we love called boxing. Peace.